Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're over at the Lime Ridge Mall. We haven't been here in maybe a week or two, so it should be interesting to see what's new. And then also, guys, there is a Toys R Us across the street, which we will be going to later. But anyways, let's go into Lime Ridge Mall first, and let's get started. And well, anyways, guys, we made it over to our first stop, which is EB Games. Now, fingers crossed they've got something good today. All right, guys, so here is their section here, and I'm kind of digging around a little bit, and the first thing that I found was this here. This is Pain from Naruto, and it seems like they've only been getting in this one. I haven't seen any of the other ones from this set at this location or the other one that we went to yesterday. I don't think I showed off the figure because it was right by the cache, but it is kind of funny that they seem to be just getting in this one. And then, guys, as we get a little bit higher here, I'm noticing that they got some of the Tokidoki ones, and or at least one of them, so maybe they'll be getting in other ones as well if you guys are interested in those. They also have a bunch of their exclusives up here with like Invisible Girl as well as a bunch of the ones from the PlayStation exclusive line. And then guys right above that they got in some of the Star Wars gaming greats which really is some nice ones. Now this one I haven't picked up yet because I am kind of looking for the chase and if I don't find it for a while maybe I'll get the common one but I do think I might as well wait a little bit because I feel like as soon as I buy this one I'm gonna find the chase. I don't know but anyways I'm gonna wait on this one just so I can look for that one a little bit longer. And then guys over here we've got the Grogu with cookies as well as Grogu with butterfly and then Parks and Rec. These ones are ones that we've seen a bunch, but I haven't really shown them off too well. So if you guys want to check this out, here they are here. I'm trying not to drop Andy here. But if you guys want to check out the Leslie, there she is right there. And then Andy, there he is a little bit closer up. And also because down at the bottom here, I found the newer Gizmo, but this one seems to be pretty damaged. So it's good that I picked this one up a little while ago. And then other than that, it doesn't really seem like there's anything that I'm on the hunt for. Like they do have the It's a Small World one, but it's Kenya and I already have Kenya. I'm hoping to get the other three. But yeah, it doesn't seem like they have them here today. And right above the Star Wars figures, guys, I noticed that they got in a couple exclusives. And I feel like these ones are ones that might have restocked, like the Raiden with Lightning. Now this is definitely a neat one here and it seems like they got in a bunch of this figure and I feel like I'm not sure if this is the one but I feel like this is one that a lot of people were looking for a little while ago this might have been it I'm not 100% sure but anyways guys they also have in the formal Paul here from Dune and I believe that movie just came out or is coming out very soon and then we also have this one here from Diablo and just like that guys I'm out of EB games and if I'm gonna be honest I didn't really have anything that I was looking for so I guess let's go over to the next door which is going to be Sunrise Records it's it's right there we go that's it <laughs> And it looks like today, guys, that they actually got in some new ones because I don't remember seeing this one here last time or the newer Wonder Woman. And then they also used to have it as just this little section here. But now they have some Star Trek ones over here as well as some Marvel over in this spot. And actually some Star Wars down here. And I might as well show some of the newer ones here, guys. We've got like some of the ones from TLC. We've got Ozuna. We also have Fallout Boy up here as well as I think the entire Green Day set. Yeah, they do, they've got all three. And then guys, as we get a little bit lower, we've got like Starship Troopers, we've got Ava DuVernay, which is a pretty cool one over there. That is part of the director's line, and I don't think I ever picked her up now that I think about it. Huh, maybe I should get her today, I'll think about it. And then as we get a little bit lower, guys, we've got some of the ones from Star Wars, we also have V, which we always see here. It seems like this is the only place that's actually gotten in any of these figures. I think it's probably because they got the exclusive one for Emerald City Comic Con. That's gotta be it. And then guys, we've got just the most random characters at the bottom here with White Men Can't Jump, Cool Runnings, Richard Simmons, Frozen 2, Assassin's Creed, Halo, and Critical Role. So I was just about to leave Sunrise Records, then I ran into a brand new section that they just put up a couple weeks ago that I have never seen before, and it is all of these characters right here, like a bunch of the newer ones, and it seems like they're starting to put them at the back. Now I'm definitely gonna have to dig through this for a second just to see if there's anything that I'm on the hunt for. Because it seems like they got in all, if not most, of the Seinfeld pops, like the common ones anyways, none of the exclusive and then above that they have pretty much the entire set of the mini moments because there is six of them all together and it seems like they have all six yeah it seems to be the entire set except for the chases and then guess they also got in the T'Challa Star-Lord over here which I know we've shown off before but I might as well show it off again in case you guys haven't seen it as well as Dr. Fate this was actually the main pop in yesterday's video if you guys want to check it out then we also have Dark Side on Throne, the Jack Skellington and Snowmobile, and then this one here. Now, I'm not going to be getting this one today just because this thing is huge and I do not want to carry it around the mall. But if it was any other day, I definitely would have got it. And this is something that I do want to show you guys because I think I'm going to be getting them today. And it is the three Lilo and Stitch mystery minis that they have left over. Because if you guys don't know, I am going for some of the rarer ones. We actually need Pleakley, Hula Lilo, as well as Jumba and Pudge. So if we could get those ones today, I mean, hey, that'd be great. Okay, so I got my stuff over at Sunrise Records. Now let's go into the next store, 
hot topic. And now guys, I guess let's go through some of the newer figures that they've gotten. There doesn't seem to be too many, but this one is really nice. This is the Alice with flowers, but the problem is with this one is that the box is a little bit damaged. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this one today. Plus it is a newer figure, so I'm sure we'll find it at another store, maybe even today. And then guys, over here we have some other exclusives and they seem to have one left of the alligator Loki, which I did get a little while ago, so I'm not gonna be getting it today, but it seems like some stores are restocking these ones. And if you guys are in the Hamilton area, I don't know if it's gonna be here still by the time this video comes out tomorrow, but it does seem to be in pretty decent condition. Oh, and then it also seems like they got in a lot of this one right here, the Papa Emeritus 3 from Ghost, which is a neat figure. I just don't listen to much Ghost, so I'm not gonna be grabbing it today. And then below that, what do we got down here? They have like Hospice Morty, they also have Roller Skating Stuart, which this movie should be coming out soon. It's kind of funny, guys, I talked about this before, but it says on the back here, see the movie, yeah, there it is right there. Summer 2020, so I think this one might even be coming out in like 2022? It's been a while. And now it also seems like they got in some more of the zombie alpaca as well as weapon hacks. And then above that, this one is pretty neat from Yu Yu Hakushu. This one here is Yoko Kurama, I think it is. I don't know much about this one, but I really do like the way they did kind of like that clear base with the rose petals going all the way around. It's pretty neat. And then guys, this one here we are kind of crammed in. So I'm gonna try to show you the most I can. We've got spicy oodles, we've got yeah. Zeus, Static Shock, uh, some other ones from Junji Ito. And then as we get higher and higher guys, there's just more and more characters. So if there's anything that you guys, you know, maybe would have picked up, please let me know in the comment section below. So we're out of Hot Topic and I didn't get anything in there and really I haven't been getting much today at all, but I think that's gonna change after this store and the next one we're gonna be going into is of course, Conspiracy Comics. Now guys, here is their first section here and I do wanna mention that they have so many figures that I'm not gonna be able to show off every single one of them today. Like if you guys look this way, there is way too many to talk about all of them. But the first one that I noticed I think I might be getting today is the Ratcatcher 2 with Sebastian. Now I'm hoping that they do make an unmasked version of her in the future, but this one is still a great figure. And if you guys wanna check it out, Hey, you know what, 20 bucks, not bad, I'll take it. With some of the figures that they have in here, I know that they are way more expensive, like this Nightmare Freddy. How much is this one? Yeah, oof, 34. That's kind of what I was expecting, so 20 is not bad for here. And now I came over to the Pocket Pops because I noticed that they got in some like older ones that you don't see very often, like Discord down here from My Little Pony, and as well as Megatron, uh, Izuku Midoriya. They also have Luke Skywalker, which is a great one. Now this, I mean, I don't know how they did that lightsaber so small, but then if you get a little bit higher, I ran into the Red Hulk over here, which is kind of pricey, so. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. It's $20, but you don't see this one very often, especially because it is a pretty nice red hole. And now I came over to the far side just to show you guys some of these ones because they've got a lot of the Star Trek, Star Wars. I'm noticing they even have the original Darth Vader here, which is pretty, not as blue box, but still it's a nice one. Then a little bit higher up guys, they have the Angela. Now this one I did check before I started the clip because I wanted to let you guys know. I need this one, but it's 40 bucks. So I'm probably gonna wait on it today. And actually now that I'm looking at it, they have a bunch of the office ones. And then if you get a little bit farther over, this is the Creed that I have. And I don't have this one yet. I'll have to check the price on this thing. And if you guys are wondering why I'm struggling with the prices so much is that I have some stuff in one hand. I'm holding the camera in the other, so it is definitely tough to check this thing. Let me just see, I'm gonna be buying these anyway, so let me just put them down real quick and let me see. This one here is 24. Actually, I'm probably gonna get this today. And now, guys, I came over to another exclusive section that they've got here, which has some pretty interesting figures, but I wanted to show you something kind of funny, and it's this one right here, the Ryan Howard one. This isn't the blonde one that I normally find at all of my Walmarts. This one is just the normal one, so I wanted to get this one today, and then I looked at the price. Yeah, we're gonna skip on this thing. Oh, and then another one that I was on the hunt for, guys, is the Iron Man, I am Iron Man, because this is just such a nice figure, and I never was able to pick it up. And then there's this again. So I don't know, if I was gonna get maybe one expensive figure, I would grab this, but I'm grabbing a bunch of other stuff as well, so we're probably gonna pass today. Plus, I could see a giant box cut on the top of the figure. Do you guys kinda see that? Yeah, it's not great. All right, everybody, so we are now out of the mall, and I did get my stuff over at Conspiracy Comics, and now, like I promised, let's go into Toys R Us. Ooh, wait, wait, there it is. <laughs> now, guys, the first thing I see when I came inside was the specialty series Energizer bunny sodas and I'm definitely gonna be getting these today. And now guys we can get into the pops and it looks like they have some pretty decent ones like the Lord Licorice, the MTV Moon Person, as well as Sandy and you guys were saying that I probably should have got it when I saw it at my other Toys R Us because that one did have the con sticker and this one doesn't. Kind of sucks. But anyways, I wasn't really looking to get this character, so I guess it's fine. They also had this one last time we were here, but I thought we might as well show it off again because this is a neat one. Another one of the Funcon exclusives, and this here is the Imperial Palace Deathstroke, and that is definitely a nice figure. And then guys, at the bottom here, they do have some of the Funko Shop exclusives, like the BB-8, as well as the Fry Kids, and this is definitely a nice two-pack if you haven't picked it up yet. And also, it's nice because it is the exact same price as a normal figure. And over on this side, guys, they have a lot of great exclusives, like the Wood Deco Iron Man, as well as the Alan Parrish from Jumanji, Minnie Mouse, 
And then there was one that I wanted to show you guys that wasn't exclusive. Yes, it was exclusive. And it's this one right here, guys, the Krang. Now, I've wanted to get one of these for a while, but is the box all right on this one? You know what? It doesn't seem too bad. There's a bit of a ding in the corner there. I don't know, I'm gonna think about this one just because it is a neat figure and I haven't picked it up yet. And I figured I might as well show off the Pocket Pops since they have so many of them today. And there are some pretty decent ones like the Stretch Armstrong as well as the Matterhorn Bobsled Attraction with Mickey. That is a nice one. But uh, I don't know if there's any that I'm gonna be picking up today. I just thought since they had so many, you guys would probably wanna see them. Actually guys, would you look at that? They have three more of the Krangs down here. So I'm definitely gonna be getting one of these today because the boxes look a lot nicer. And anyway, since we're over at Toys R Us, I can't forget to check the Lego for Grandpa to see if there's any anything that he might want and he has been looking for the Lego train but he said he didn't really want the passenger one I don't know why I guess he's picky with his Lego trains but I am gonna be digging around for a bit to see if there's anything that he might enjoy okay so I found this one here this is the Lego Harry Potter Hogwarts Express which I think was a great choice because he did want a steam engine but this one doesn't actually move so we can't get this one today so we landed on this one here guys this is the surfer beach house and actually my grandpa and I when we were looking up stuff on lego.com he really enjoyed this one so I think this is gonna be a good surprise tonight and just like that everybody we are out of Toys R Us, so now let's go back to the office and I'll show you guys everything that we got today. All right, everybody, so we are now back from pop hunting, and let's just go through everything that I got today. Starting with Sunrise Records, because that was the first store that I actually got something, and we got a couple different things there, one of them being the Ava DuVernay Pop Director's figure, and I wanted to get this one because it is one that I needed for my director set. And I actually have most of them right above me. So now I have James Wan, Taika Waititi, Guillermo del Toro, Alfred Hitchcock, J.J. Abrams, and Ava DuVernay. And I think the only two that I can think of that I'm missing would be Spike Lee as well as the Amazon exclusive Kevin Smith. And then I think that's it. Because I can't really think of any others in this set. And it also is kind of funny because this one is the first one in the pop director's line when the rest of them are all in pop movies. And if you guys want to check one of them out, let me just grab the Alfred Hitchcock real quick. If you guys want to check one of them out, here is the Alfred Hitchcock right here and this one's probably my favorite in the director's line. Ooh, you know what? Now that I say that I also really enjoy Taika Waititi so it's probably a toss up between the two. And then the other thing that I grabbed over at Sunrise Records was three Lilo and Stitch mystery minis. So let's crack these things open and find out if we're gonna get any of those ones that I'm missing for my set. And now I know I mentioned it in the store but if you guys are wondering which ones I'm missing it is the Hula Lilo, we've got Jumba, Pudge, and Pleakley and then that's it. So I'm hoping to get at least one of those with these boxes here and I'm thinking I could probably probably get oof, maybe Pudge, Lilo, or Pleakley, but I doubt we're going to be getting a jump on here just because these things are way too light. And here we go, guys. This is the first one for today, and it is... Oh, I got him! I got Pudge! He's a 1 in 72, and I got him! <laughs> here he is here, guys. I did not expect to see that peanut butter sandwich sticking out of the end there. That is a nice one. <laughs> All right, guys, we are doing well so far. So now I'm hoping for maybe a Pleakley or a Lilo. That would be nice. All right, everybody, box number two. And I'm hoping that we do get something that I need again, just like Pudge. And here we go. Are you guys ready for this one? I'm not going to feel it again. Let's just rip this thing open and let's find out what we're going to be getting. Okay, here we go. Three two, one. Who is it? Who is it? It is Sitting Stitch. And this here is, I believe, a one in six. Yeah, it's a one in six. And now, guys, let's get on to the third box for today. And I'm hoping that we can maybe get the Hula Lilo or Pleakley because that would be perfect. But anyways, I've got no clue what this could be. But anyways, guys, here we go. Three, two, one. Please be Pleakley. Please be Pleakley. Please be Pleakley. Yes! Yeah! Two to go. Wait. Two down, two to go. That's perfect. And well, guys, it looks like it was a good idea to grab every single one that they have. And also, it is kind of funny because this was probably the best odds I could have got. Because if you guys don't know, there's only ever two rare ones in a case. And it seems like, well, no, we definitely did get both of the rare ones. Because Pudge is a 1 in 72, and then Pleakley is a 1 in 24. And now, in case you guys are wondering, the only two that we need now are the Hula Lilo as well as Jumba. And I feel like Jumba is probably going to be one of the hardest ones to find. Because he's definitely going to be the heaviest one in any case. And then the next place I got pops was over at Conspiracy Comics, and I got three really great ones. Well, I guess two and a half, maybe you could say. And if you guys want to check out the first one here, this is the Specialty Series Creed Bratton. And I know that this one is very similar to the EB Games one, but I do want to get every single one of the Office Pops. So even though they're pretty much exactly the same, I want to pick up all of them when I can. And this one here was only $25, so like maybe a $5 markup, which isn't that bad. And then guys, after Creed, I got Ratcatcher 2. And this is one that a lot of you guys have been asking me to get because I haven't been able to find it in stores until today. Because when we saw the movie a while ago, I realized that Ratcatcher 2 was actually a really great character 
character in the film, so I'm so glad that I could add it to my The Suicide Squad collection today. It's so weird to say adding it to my The Suicide Squad Funko Pop collection, but I mean, that's what the movie's called. What am I supposed to do? And now this one I wanted to pop out of the box really quickly just so I could show you guys her a little bit closer up because I love Sebastian in her hand and I love how they actually popified it as well where they gave him those big black eyes and I'm hoping that they do make maybe an unmasked version of her with like a bunch of rats around her. That would be a neat figure. And then guys, the last thing that I got over at Conspiracy Comics was a Pocket Pop and I know that I paid a lot for this one but it is definitely a neat figure and if you guys want to check it out, there is the Red Hulk right there and if you guys missed how much I paid for it at the store, it was actually, well, $20. And you know what's funny to me, guys, is that they make so many great figures in the Pocket Pop size, but they never really get more expensive. Like, you can get a lot of older figures that you can't get in the normal, like, 3 to 5 inch size that you could get just a little bit smaller, like this Red Hulk right here. And I know that this one isn't a great example because they did just redo the Hulk as a Hot Topic exclusive, but I think you guys know what I mean. I can get a lot of weird characters that are just a little bit smaller for about the same price. Actually, about the same price of a normal figure for, like, about $10 to $20, which really isn't that bad if you don't care how big these figures are and I feel like the Red Hulk is a good example of that besides the Hot Topic exclusive that just came out but I think you guys know what I mean and now everybody let's get into the last place that I picked up pops as well as some other stuff Toys R Us and this bag's going right back on the floor again because it is too big to put on the table and I guess we might as well start with the Lego and the one that I grabbed today for my grandpa is the Lego Creator Surf Shop and I thought that this one was a great one to grab because when we were looking on lego.com this is one that he definitely was interested in and maybe I should have picked it up online so that way I could have got points for it but I don't really care what am I gonna do with Legoland tickets at the moment and I know you can get like 10 to 20 dollars off but I wanted to get it today so we could build it tonight and if you guys want to check it out a little bit closer up there it is right there like this is definitely an interesting set and also this is a three-in-one so we could build a small boat with a lighthouse or it looks like a surf shop but we're probably just going to build the biggest one because it's going to use the most pieces. And if you guys want to check out all three of the sets that you can build, there they are on the back right there. And actually, before we get too into this, and I actually want to open this up for myself, let's go surprise him with it. Hey, Grandpa, I got you a new... What's going on in here? Hold on. What? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, nothing. Well, well, all right. No, Okay, well, anyways, I got you a new Lego set today. Do you want to check it out? Yeah. Okay, let me get it. All right, Grandpa, I've got the Lego. I think you're gonna like this one. You ready for this? It is the Lego, ooh, surf shop. Ooh, surf shop. Now, 564 pieces. Now I know it's kind of big, but this is one that you and I, when we were looking online, we did find this one. You remember this? No. Well, oh, <laughs> I thought you would have. Well, this was the one where when we were buying, actually it was this here. We wanted to get this, guys, in case you're wondering. This was the Master's Book of Secrets, and you had to spend, I believe it was $80 on Lego Creator sets. And you remember we got the three of them? Well, this is the one that we were debating on getting. Either the houseboat or this one. And so I saw it at Toys R Us today, and I thought you'd like it. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. No problem. That's a nice looking one. That's a good, good one. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I hope you like it. It's a nice one. It's a lot bigger than you usually do. I know you usually do like probably like two to three hundred, but uh, it is a nice one. I like it. Well, let's rip into it. <laughs> All right, sounds good. <laughs> Well, I better get home quick, guys, because it seems like he's going to be building this thing all night, and I don't want him to be finished before I'm actually done with this video. So now, let's get on to the next thing that I got, which would be, oh yes, I also got some Lego as well. I grabbed some of the Lego Marvel Studios minifigs, and I wanted to get these because I got a couple of them a little while ago, and you guys seem to really enjoy them, and I also really enjoy opening them, so it's a win-win. And because I knew that I was going to be opening these up, I grabbed the ones that we opened up last time just to show you guys what my collection is at so far. So, we have, of course, the Falcon. Falcon or Captain America here and then we also have well zombie Captain America and then we also got well I I, I guess um, <clears throat> Captain America again or the Winter Soldier and I don't know how I did it but I seem to have gotten all of the ones that have the shield so it is gonna be kind of funny if we do get more of those today and I did not feel the bags I know that you guys were saying you can feel the bags and I mean I don't really care it's just more so fun for me to open them up so anyways let's find out who the first one is we're gonna be getting and it is oh, maybe I should have felt them. And if anybody's wondering why I'm already disappointed, it's because we got another Winter Soldier. Ugh. Okay, so maybe I should have felt the bags, but it's only one out of the four that we've got so far. So let's just get into the next one here, and I'm hoping that maybe we'll get Spider-Man today. That would be a nice one. And here we go. Who do we got? Oh, we got someone new. Okay, perfect. Hey, 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 hey. 
Nice! And well guys, would you look at that? Somebody new. And also she does come with the alligator Loki, which is an awesome addition to the figure. So guys, it looks like we now have a third of them in the collection. And now let's get on to the next one here, which is, oh no, no, no! Oh, we got the Falcon. And you know what, guys? This one takes a little bit to build, so I'm not even going to be building it again right now. And if you guys want to check out the Falcon, there he is right there. I mean, I did just show him off. I definitely should have felt the bags. But now, guys, let's get on to the last one, and let's hope that it is somebody different this time. Maybe Loki would be cool. That would be a neat one. I also really do want... Oh! <laughs> no! I got the Winter Soldier. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Ugh, gosh. Well, guys, you win some, you lose some, and this one, I, I kind of lost. I mean, I did get one new figure today, but out of four, I was hoping for a couple more. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. But anyways, guys, we move on, and let's get on to the next thing that I got, which is Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, this is definitely a nice one, and I'm glad that I grabbed it today. Because if I didn't get him today, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to keep putting him off, and then eventually he's just going to be sold out, and then he's going to probably get expensive, and then I'm going to be sad that I didn't get him. So anyways, guys, here is Krang right here. And this is also in the retro toys line. So I do like to get the retro toys that I enjoy. And if you guys want to check out the Krang, there he is right there. And this is definitely a neat figure. And looking at this figure out of the box, I really do love the amount of detail that they added to this character. And I'm glad that they actually made him like 3D in the middle of it. Because if it was just kind of like 2D as like a decal on the front, I don't think it would have looked as good. And if you guys want to check him out a little bit closer up again, there he is right there. And I really do like that he's pretty much like an entirely new figure stuck in the middle of this pop. And actually, a little bit of a fun fact about Krang is that I actually have an NFT of him. No, why don't you pop it up on the screen right there? I mean, I gotta talk about all of the collectibles, even the digital ones. And now, everybody, let's get into the last thing that I got over at Toys R Us, which is the Specialty Series Energizer Bunny Soda. And if you guys want to check out the can a little bit closer up there, it is right there. And also, this is my first ever Specialty Series Soda, so this is pretty interesting. And I guess let's just crack it in the first one, and fingers crossed that we can get that chase. And if you guys don't know what the chase is on this one, the chase is... Oh, right. He's metallic. Oh, would you look at this, guys? The sticker came off. Okay, now I gotta get this back on. This is actually not bad. I got it. All right, we're good. So if that ever happens to you guys where it's on the outside of the wrapping instead of on the inside, you can always just take it right off and put it under your can because that's where they had it just above the wrapping. And it kind of sucks when they do that, but at least you can put them on pretty easily. And now, everybody, let's crack into this soda. And fingers crossed we can get a chase and a common. So here we go, guys. You ready? Three two, one, please be the chase, please be the chase, please be the chase. It's kind of hard to open up, but it doesn't look like, hold on, hold on, it is, yeah, it's not the chase. And if you guys want to check out the Energizer Bunny, here he is right here with the Energizer logo on the drum, as well as an Energizer Bunny on the side here. And if you guys want to check out the Pog on this one, here it is right here. And even though it is colored, this one is not the chase, of course, because it is the international soda. And if you guys want to check it out, there it is on one side. Then on the other, it says that this one here is limited to one out of 2,500, I think it is. Uh, no, 2,900. Well, the good news is, is that I needed the common one anyway. So now let's get into the next one here. And I'm also going to try to take the sticker off of this one as well because I want to put it back in the can. And there we go, just like that. And I'm actually getting pretty good at putting stickers on because I have been doing a lot of Lego recently and they use a lot of decals. All right, now fingers crossed we can get the chase on this one because the goal whenever I'm opening up sodas is to buy two of them and then get one chase and one common. So fingers crossed we can get the chase on this one and here we go. Please be the chase, please be the chase, please be the chase, please be the chase, please be the, please be the, please be the, please be the, please be the chase, please be, oh, it's not the chase. But anyways, it's still a neat soda, like I said. And I mean, I know that the chase one is the silver, but just to make sure, it's not. I mean, I know it's not. And this one, again, is limited to one out of 2,900. But still, it's a nice one. It's just too bad I didn't get one chase and one common. And well, guys, that is everything for today. And even though we didn't get the chase on the Energizer Bunny, we did still win with the mystery minis getting both Pudge and Pleakley. And now next time I see a fresh case of Lilo and Stitch mystery minis, I'm definitely gonna have to feel to see if I can find that Jumba, but then also just grab a couple of them to see if we can get that Lilo. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that, but this has been another episode of Top Pops, Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Whoa, I'm a big bag hunter with the bow, she got a big bear, dump her, drop her low, mama call me and she happy with the grow, never ever yeah. fall for a body that's a no. Just pop the kidney and buy a million options, so the stock and the stop doing the green and I'm rocking. Bringing the peace, I'm bumping that pot in the car, pretending I got all the eyes on me. Got